What is up, Internet? You're watching Eric's Joystick. I am Eric, of course, and today we're going to be talking about that thing over there. So today we're going to talk about that thing. That is my desk. That is where all the magic happens. It's also a disaster area. Um, as you can see, when I'm not using it, everything is cluttered. There's a laptop, there's a desktop, there's a keyboard, there's all my handheld consoles, my Nintendo Switch, my TV. It's, it's, it's crazy. It is crazy, and today I'm going to do something about it. What am I going to do about it? We are going to put together a new desk. I'm hoping it'll be the solution to that thing. But before we get started on any of that, let's get some coffee. So I've been a barista for about 10 years now, and coffee has not only become something that I love, but it's also become something that is a bit of a ritual in every day that I get a chance to do it. One of my favorites is the pour over method, as you can see right here. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it real quick. So let's let's go do that. Okay, so we're gonna do the pour over method. Um, so what I have here is my grinder, some beans. Uh, this is anniversary, this is Starbucks anniversary blend. This is a dark roast. And of course the pour over system. Uh, these come in like a lot of, a lot of different companies make their own thing. I think this is a Melita filter. I forget the name of these anyway. So we got our filter in there and a nice cup of ice because it's hot. We're gonna make iced coffee today. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our beans. Don't mind the noise, it's a little noisy. We're gonna take our beans. We're gonna scoop them in there. You can do as many or as little as you like. This is all about experimentation. Um, if you are going to do it on ice dough, take whatever you put and double it. So if you're doing like two scoops for hot coffee, do four for iced. Otherwise, it's going to be watery. Um, I'm pretty sure I put four in there already. So we're just going to go ahead and grind it. It's going to get a little noisy, so we're just going to skip to the part where, uh, you know, to where we actually pour the coffee. Look at that. Nice, brown and brown. So now we got our coffee ready, we got our water ready. We're gonna just pour it on in there. Try and stir it when you pour it so that when you store the grinds, you get more oil in there. Do what I do. Don't stir it too much, cause then, you know, you might get grinds inside of the cup. And you don't want grinds in your coffee, that's disgusting. Watch it as it pours into the ice water. Good shit. Hopefully it comes out as good as I normally make it. You know, it's the way I normally make it. So, you know, hopefully it's good. <laughs> I think it's going to be good. Put that away. We're going to let it... Going to let it pour for just a couple more seconds. Get, get the last of that uh, coffee out. So now we're going to pour our milk in there. I like to do it with milk. Uh, I do almond milk because it's good for you and it's got more calcium than 2% and it's low calories. I'm on a diet. So, you know, got to watch where I got to watch my intake, right? Just going to let that uh, flow for a few seconds. One thing I like when I make iced coffee is in a glass cup. You see all these uh, swirls and stuff. Everybody likes that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, it's if you ever see Instagram, you'll see that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's just uh, finish this. That's how you do coffee. Let's <sighs> good stuff. So I guess since this is a vlog, uh, I should probably talk about stuff that's been going on with me recently. Um, my birthday is on the 31st of October and Halloween. Hopefully this goes up during that week. Uh, so happy birthday to me. I turned 30. Um, I'm taking the week off, so I'm just going to chill. Probably do another video or two, or play some video games. Um, I've been really into Minecraft. I've been playing the Windows 10 edition, or the Be or the uh, Bedrock edition. Um, Daisy got Super Mario Odyssey, so I've been watching her play that. And that shit is insanely good. Um, so another thing that happened this week was that Daisy got me this uh, Bob Ross Funko figure. And I've been wanting this for like a long time, and I love it. Um... I used to watch, as a kid, I used to watch a lot of uh, The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross on PBS. And uh, it was a nice show. It was really nice. It was always just something to just throw on and just watch. And as an adult, I have grown to appreciate it even more because 
I love the whole anyone can do it mentality that he has towards his painting. Bob was a painter, but even though he was a painter, had he had that uh, anyone can do it mentality when it came to his outlet. And I think you can apply that to a lot of other creative outlets like cooking or art, painting, graphic art, um, video, music, all of that. Anybody can do it. You don't need like to have the, the best equipment or skill or experience that comes that's going to come to you naturally um you just you know do it have fun with it that's that's why i'm doing videos because they're fun i like doing i've always liked doing videos so that's why i'm doing it now and i think i think everyone should have a creative outlet because everyone can be creative in some form it's just more about uh finding that outlet i recently tried to buy a movie on steam and because you know i bought evil dead 2 because it was on sale for like 99 cents and turns out it's actually a rental and i won't actually get to keep the movie so eat a dick steam thanks a lot let's finish this cup of coffee and get started shall we Okay, so I got the desk out. Uh, this is big empty space down here is a mess. This chair is friggin' massive, so I can't really move it out of the room because of that thing. But I was gonna get a new chair anyway, but that's gonna be in the future. Anyway, so here's down here. It is a shit show. Well, not really. I just gotta sweep and vacuum it, but it's fine. But it is hot. I don't know if you can see like the sweat dripping down my face. I got my camera, my other camera over here doing a time lapse of everything see what i did yeah yeah see it's just techniques it's new techniques i'm doing i'm experimenting with new things <laughs> all right so hopefully there's space hopefully i can put this thing together and it'll just be fine but let's 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 continue with that <laughs> Okay, it is cleared out and cleaned up, so let me just tell you guys a little bit about the desk that I'm, I'm going to attempt to put together. Okay, so it's sideways, and I know you probably can't read it, but this is the Gaming Desk by Atlantic. This is a company called Atlantic. They make desks and stuff. I guess they make gaming desks. That's the model number. Um, this has got uh, steel frame rods, steel rods for like the legs and stuff. It can fit up a 27 inch panel. Um, I was actually thinking about getting a 32 inch panel, so that might be a problem. And it's it can the capacity, the weight capacity is up to 40 pounds. I might not be able to put my desktop on it, but I can put everything else on it. It's got a cable management system, which is great because if you've seen the situation behind my desk, it looks like they could all the cables back there could like unravel from my uh, computer and just like do some tentacle hentai shit to me, and I, I don't really want that um here are the dimensions you probably can't even see it um it looks like it might be able to fit between the wall and where my bed is our bed mine and daisy's bed um with some space we'll see um yeah so i mean you can, you can see what it looks like when it's fully put together so it's got like some speaker trays these are the steel legs it has a station where you can put your phones at and charge it this is the tv stand this is where you'll hold your games and stuff, I guess. Okay, these are where controllers will go, which is good because I have a bunch of controllers just lying around on my desk. Um, and I think this is a drawer, not a keyboard tray, but just a drawer where you can put like any extra things like cables and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to try and put it together. Hopefully it fits. Hopefully it's a good desk. Uh, let's just Let's just see what happens. Wish me luck.
You might have seen this during the time lapse, but I, I put all of the shit on my desk onto the bed and like Pookie was walk walking around trying to figure out where she could lay down and stuff. I feel sorry for her. I'm sorry, Pookie. But I mean, I have to have somewhere to put this. You know what I'm saying? So, sorry, dog. As you can see, there's a lot of cables here. There's the, uh, some phone cases, my Nintendo Wii U, which has collected some dust. I saw a tweet on Twitter about the Wii U gamepad covered in dust, and it just said, um, environmental storytelling. And God, I've never felt so attacked in my life. Um, there's a headset over there. There's my lumbar cushion, some Wii U and Wii games that I was going to play and stream. Those are my controllers, mm -hmm. some 3DS games. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I forgot to turn off, um, my phone during recording. Uh, there's my 3DS, mine and Daisy's Nintendo Switch, and the dock. That little Lego thing is where I keep all my SD cards. Um, that's my mechanical keyboard and my PVR, for which I co record console games. Somewhere under the, all of that is my laptop. It is a complete mess right now, but I'm hoping... That when the desk is together and everything is set up, it'll look a little nicer and not as chaotic. <sighs> okay, so the hard work is done for the most part. I love it when you set out to do a thing and it just works out. It works out. I am so friggin' hyped right now. It fits where... It, I thought it wasn't going to fit between this space and, and our bed. And it fits just fine. It's perfect. And... Setup wasn't that difficult. It was it was easy enough. Um, the instructions are clear. All I gotta do now is put the rest of the uh, modular parts together. Uh, let's go to the bottom real quick. So over here is railings for the wire tray. That's where the surge protector is gonna go. That's interesting. That's I guess that's like uh, all of our power cables and wire management and whatnot. So that's neat. Up here you can see. It's got like a carbon fiber finish. I dig it a lot. I like that. Uh, right here is where like wire manage will go. Um, you can put the uh, shelf for the monitor stand anywhere you want, basically. Um, on the sides, you can put... I forgot to uh, silence my phone, but that's fine. Um, on these legs, you can put your... Uh, your monitor cables or whatever. Your monitor... Not your monitor. Your speaker stands and your cup holder which is great because i have this thing this is a hydro flask and where did i put the cup holder there's a lot of shit on this bed and i am lost in all the shit this is the cup holder right and you can just put this in there that's awesome I'm fucking, I'm stoked right now. Let me finish this thing. It's it's taken me a long time just because of procrastination and moving everything around and stopping to record and stopping to take a break and all that. So I'm going to try and finish this and hopefully my time lapse isn't like fucked. I'm going to go take a look at that real quick and then I'm going to continue recording or continue putting this together. So desk is finally done. I had a little trouble. It took a little while for me to put it together because I couldn't find the screws um, for, for a certain part. They were hiding, but I found them and it's all complete. And it's really big. It's big, 
very spacious has a lot of cool things like a, a controller holder these hold game pads these hold uh games this is like a charging station so it looks like you'll feed a wire through this through these parts and leave your devices charging over here oh, there's a lot of space between this and the monitor stand so hopefully i can fit some stuff there and look at all this room under here unfortunately i won't be able to use my desktop for a while because i need to get a stand for it and i don't want dust coming in from the bottom because it might suffocate from under the carpet so desk is done great let's put everything back on it and then take apart the old one and then we'll finish the video okay so the desk is completely set up it's done it was relatively easy to put to set up and put together um i recommend it it's really big and spacious and it looks nice it has this nice carbon fiber finish on it and the tv stand is durable everything is like durable metal so uh hoping it lasts me a long time um as you can see behind me there's a lot of clutter on it everything is always like a work in progress or temporary so it is what it is um but yeah Thank you guys for watching. You can subscribe to me on youtube.com slash ericsjoystick or at twitch.tv slash ericsjoystick. You can follow me on twitter.com slash ericsjoystick. Anyway, hope you have a happy and safe Halloween. If it's not Halloween when this goes up, then hope you've had a happy and safe Halloween. And there's a lot of crazy shit going on in the world right now. So, you know. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Eric, and I'm out of here. Peace. gross.